this is Rob from Traveling with Rob. Today I'm going to be doing a review of my Victor Knox carry-on bag. But first and foremost, the cocktail of the video, a Passion Royale, which is X-rated passion fruit liqueur, poured over ice, add some sweet lime, Mix it up, hold the top, and wait for the bloopers to realize why. Pour it over crushed ice. And then finish with a skin of Brut Champagne. So this is the Victor Knox W25 and some other numbers, blah, 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 blah bag. It is like the best. It is a two-wheeler, not a four-wheeler like you find everywhere else because four-wheelers suck. Um, it has great front pouches, like here's an easy access pouch for holding things you need to get a hold of and apparently coins from my last trip to Malaysia. Um, it's got a larger front pouch, which you can put like the magazines you're snagging out of the lounges or your passport or just whatever else you need to get quick access to. It has, of course, the ubiquitous extendo arm. It has a handle on the top, a handle on the side. Of course, the one on the top, you have to put your status tag so that everyone who walks by knows that you're a douche who has high status. So when I'm taking a long haul trip, usually it ends up being about 36 to 40 hours in length of multiple stops in multiple cities. I carry this much in my carry-on. And sometimes this is all I carry for a weekend trip when I'm like zipping over to Singapore just for 24 hours to see friends or whatever. So I usually have my tropical shirts, my travel shirts, extra pairs of jeans, extra pairs of underwear, extra pairs of socks. Never underestimate the feeling of a fresh pair of socks after getting off a gross flight, showering, and putting on new ones. My sandals from when I'm traversing around the area my swim trunks, which I always forget, and it's a miracle they're even here for the video, because I always have to buy a new pair whenever I get someplace tropical. Um, and tropical pants. Hey, bold colors are for men in other countries. Say what you will here. My toiletries and accoutrements. I age rescue therapy. I'm an old man. I need a lot to look good. Sadly, welcome to 2020. Extra filters for my masks while I'm flying. Razor and deodorant. Neck pillow. Lifesaver. Don't care what class you're in. If you fall asleep without setting your first class seat to a bed, or you kink your head, or you're in premium economy, this is the best. Okay. So, it is 8 inches deep, 22 inches long, and 14 inches wide. It has these straps in here. I never know what they're for. I never use them. It's got a little drying bag up here, which will just make everything else smell like whatever's in this area. So, this bag can hold everything I absolutely need for that entire weekend. So, I can put in my shirts. filters, get everything all lined up, my make me beautifuls, I know there's just not enough room for the crap I need to make myself look good, deodorant, razor, socks, underwear, jeans, jeans, jeans. Another neat trick is when you get there, Use the laundry. Get your clothes clean that were already soiled on your way over. Tropical pants. Swim trunks. The neck pillow. Sandals. And you can see I still have more room in this bag. So these are just perfect. I mean, they can hold almost anything you could possibly ever want. 
to bring on a plane. Any extra pieces of anything that you might need, any eventuality in any situation. So here's an equivalent four-wheel carry-on, same external dimensions as mine, yet it's eight inches deep, about the same, but then it's only 18 inches long and 12 inches across. And you lose so much from having to have all these wheels taking up all that space, where my bag actually gives you more bag right here. So I said I would prove to you why four-wheelers suck. And this is why. Because no matter what, this always happens. The wheels are on like crap, and they always break off. These are just absolutely junk. They're worthless. Mixed up. Cut.